Why do horse stall mats smell so bad and how do we get the smell out of our stall mats so they don't stink up our home gym? Hi, I'm John Grady, the third founder of Garage Gym Life, and I'll give you the answer to both of those questions right after this. Today I'm going to help you get the smell out of your stall mats. Without question, one of the most popular topics for new home gym owners is flooring. It's one of the most searched topics in Google as people want to know what the best fitness flooring is for their home gym. And if you're interested in that, you can go right there to watch my video on that topic. But today, we're just going to talk about how to deal with the odor from stall mats. The stall mats are, in my opinion, the best flooring. They're superior to all other available types of gym flooring, but they do come with the drawback of being a little bit smelly. Now that's not a problem if the horse stall mats are used for their intended purpose, which is as cushion for hooves in a horse stall. Because it's not like the horses are going to complain about the smell. Will you, Revy? No. But you probably are if you're going to put them in a spare bedroom or your basement. Even in a garage where you have the option of opening the garage doors, the odor can be a problem. And that's why most businesses that sell horse stall mats, like my friends over here at Lads Farm Supply on U Harley Road in Cartersville, store their horse stall mats outside so they don't funk up the inside of the store but once you get them home they're your problem so let's talk about some things you can do to deal with the smell the first thing i would do when i get my mats home from the store is put them outside in the sun for as long as possible and i'm talking days if possible the odor from stall mats comes from the release of volatile organic compounds or vocs and the quickest way to get rid of that smell is to let the heat from the sun open up and expand the pores of the mat to let the bad smell and the vocs escape faster so for this reason i think it's best to buy stall mats in the summer months but even if you purchase your mats in the winter you could still put them outside in the sun during the hottest part of the day to let it cook some of that funk away it's just not going to be as effective in the winter time as it would be in the summer. You also want to make sure that you don't just lay them flat because the bottom of the mat needs to have as much air circulation as possible as well as the top so you can either have them against the fence, put them against the side of the house, or even put some rocks under each of the corners to lift it just high enough off the ground to let air circulate underneath and on top of the mat. Airflow is critical for eliminating odors in stall mats especially when they're brand new. If you have an outdoor gym that's not a big deal and if your gym is in the garage you can just roll up the garage door like I said. But even if your gym is in a basement you can still run fans to circulate the air and push that funk out of the gym. One other thing you can do is try to purchase stall mats that are made out of new rubber as opposed to tire derived rubber. So TDR is sometimes also known as crumb rubber or recycled rubber and it comes from old tires. You ever smell an old tire? And they ain't gonna smell any better after they recycle it. Manufacturers press and they grind the rubber and then they hold the pieces together with chemicals like urethane and sulfur, which leads to that awful smell. They're treated to minimize the odor, but there's only so much you can do in the factory. So if you get stall mats that are made from new rubber, they'll tend to have less odor than recycled rubber stall mats. It'll take a little bit of research on your part to find out if you're getting recycled rubber stall mats, but I would start planning in advance anyway, or maybe even buy your stall mats one at a time so you're able to go through the process of getting the smell out gradually rather than having your entire home gym filled up with that vulcanized rubber odor. And on that note, while a lot of home gym owners, including me, like to cover up the entire gym floor with stall mats, it's not 100% necessary. You really only need stall mats under key pieces of equipment. The rest is just for aesthetics, so if you buy only the stall mats you absolutely need in the beginning, it's going to be a little bit more bearable while you wait for the smell to go away. I mentioned that certain types of stall mats smell worse than others, but there's also the surface of the stall mat to consider. And if you click right there, I'll tell you about the different stall mat surfaces I have in my home gym and why I have them.